Welcome to the explanation uh, for the ASL signs for if the Savior stood beside me. So before we get started, I wanted to let you know, so the, the first two verses are all questions. And questions are a lot of fun in sign language. Um, if you want to go more fluent, then you kind of do a sign at the end to show it's a question. And there's different ways you can do this. Um, I choose to go like this. And it's important to um, kind of lift your eyebrows and show it in your face like it's a question. Like, I don't know. Um, I've, I've seen it done different ways. I've seen it done like you write a question mark. I've seen that done. And I've also seen like kind of people do like a quick question thing. Almost like they're signing need. This is need with your, when you just go down. But they kind of like, it's almost like signing, like they're writing a question mark, but it's only a little bit. So that's been done as well. So if you see those different ways, um, just letting you know, just teaching you kind of a variety of things. So I, at the end of the sentence, to make it a question, I kind of go like this, like, hmm. It's like a hmm question. So it's in your face and your hands go, go up like this. And you don't move your fingers because that would be signing want. So if you're wondering why I'm going hmm at the end of the, all the sentences, it's to make it a question. <laughs> okay, so let's start. If you have an I, and sometimes I'll forget to put my thumb in, but the thumb goes in, and it's just your I. And so the, your, the back of your um, hand is out, and then you go like this. If, just like a little couple, couple little dots. Um, I've seen people go like this if they're signing really fast. So some people will sign if like that. But this is kind of what we're supposed to do, so. If the Savior. The Savior is a really neat um, sign. It's really meaningful because you have two fists and you sign safe. Safe. So they cross over each other. And then you do a person. So it's a person who saves. It's a Savior. I think that's a neat sign. Um, and I kind of, I go, if the Savior... And I put them, put them over here. You don't have to do that. You can do Savior right in front of you. No pressure or anything. The reason I put it over there is because then I go like this, right? So it's like the Savior. And then I say, oh, he's right here. I just signed Savior right here. He's here. And then he comes to me. So, but you don't have to do that. It's just kind of a directional sign. So, um... This is um, what I signed for stood beside me. And it's mainly just saying, here's one person, here's another person, and now they're next to each other. That's the sign. And so, um, like, I, I saw some people, when they want to do stand. Like, if you want to do stand, that's the sign for stand. It's just a flat palm, and then you take your dominant hand, and you have two, two legs, <laughs> your person standing. Um, this is just kind of, very simple. So if the Savior is right here next to me, that's kind of what you're saying. Then I say, uh, for the line, for the line, would I do the things I do? I sign me. So just point to yourself. Remember, if you're if it's your whole palm, then it's possessive, and that's like signing my. So we don't want to do that one right now. We want to say me, and then do, and do is like really big C's. They're not like C's like this. They're kind of bigger C's. And you kind of do. I usually do it twice. Whatever the do sign is. It's like, whatever you're doing, it's right here. This is what we're doing. So, me, do, and then I go, change, question. So, that is a little bit more fluent I ASL. Um, so, change is kind of fun. You have... Your X's, that's what they are. These are R's, they're not R's, they're X's. And then they change. And you can make it, you can make it small, or you can make it big. Either way, it's a change. So I'm gonna do that again, like that, or like this, like that. Hopefully that makes sense. So I go, me do change question. It's saying, would I do, would I change it? Like. If the Savior came close to me, 
the stuff that I do, would I change it? So that's a little bit more fluent ASL, but keep in mind your purpose. So if your purpose is more, you know, you've got little kids that, that maybe don't know any signs, you just want to teach them like one or two, three signs per line, that's totally fine. Um, so I wanted to give you some options there as well. So you can do do, and then you can do this for things if you want. Like whatever's in front of me, that's pretty much what I'm signing. Like this, the things, so I do the things I do if you wanted to as well. Do things do um, would not be fluent sign language. That that wouldn't make sense to someone. But you know who signs? They'd be like, do things do. Uh, what are you saying? But if your purpose is to help the children, you know, learn the song and then just throw in a few signs in there, then that's perfectly fine and that's wonderful because honestly, little kids don't even speak English fluently. So to expect them to to do sign language fluently, you know, that's not an expectation we have for little kids. So um, you can, even if you just did do, that would be fine as well. Just let the kids know that you're doing, you're teaching them ASL signs that are real ASL signs, um, but they're just simple vocabulary words that you're using with your songs. So that's great. All right, moving on. What I think of his commandments. So, this is what I sang. His, it's possessive, so the palm is to him. And we wouldn't just go like right here because the person we're talking about is, he's not like the same as us. He's kind of elevated. He's the savior, right? And so we want to be looking at him and the, it's possessive, so the palm is towards him. We wouldn't ever point to the savior that would be kind of like, saying your in a prayer instead of thee or thou. Does that make sense? It's a little bit more uh, formal. Yeah. So I say his commandments. This is a fun, fun sign. So non-dominant hand is straight up, right? It's usually left. And then you do a C, and you go CC. Commandments. It's like these are the commandments like that, I don't know, that you write big C's on or something that Moses brought down from Mount Sinai. Here's the tablet, so commandments. And there's more than one, so you put two right here. If you want to just do one, I guess you do one commandment. But um, So his commandments, I try, and then I sign improve to obey. That's what I sign. So I'm like, his commandments, I really try to improve to obey. Because that's what we're signing. So um, try is just fists and you go like that. So this is try, try, try. So I try and improve. Um, it's really simple. It's a fist and then you just go from here to here. And so that's coming towards you. So his commandments, I try to improve, and oh, the O's are kind of squished. Obey, obey. So you can like go like this. I kind of like having one up and one down. Obey. It's like kind of a reverent way to way to say obey, and then your hands are out like this. Obey. So if you want to, um, I do that actually for that whole line and try hard to do to be true. But I'll teach you some little vocab words so you can put it in there. So I, what I think, if you want to do think, um, then you'd be do you'd be doing like one. This is no. So what I think of his commandments and try harder to be true. And you could even go like that if you want. Um, this would be kind of like, try to be harder to, to follow you, is to, to be true, or you could just go like this. This is the word for true or for really. It's more of a, like, truth or what really happened. And so, for me, try harder to be true, that true kind of means something different than truth. But this is a sign for that if you would like to do that. So I go, his commandments... And I try to improve to obey. And then it's a question. It's like, well, these commandments, do I try harder to improve them and obey and improve my obedience? 
do I do that? So I do question after. So I taught you commandment, I taught you think, and try, and true as well. Um, and please don't sign hard in there. Just for, you know, just for me. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, so would I follow his example? This, okay, these are fun signs. This one's a fun one. So I'll teach you follow. I didn't do follow in my video, but just in case you want it, here's follow. And that would be perfectly acceptable to you. So you've got two fists with thumbs up and one's following another. Follow. They can actually kind of follow anywhere. But I'm like, follow. I've already referenced the, you know, the saviors here, so follow. Um, but I do the sign for copy because that's actually what we're doing. We're copying his example. We're not just following him around all around. And so this is a fun sign for copy. So here's your little thing that you want to copy with your non-dominant hand and it's flat. And then you want to go and get it. You copy. Copy. And this is like you're going to eat what you're copying or something. Copy. Isn't that fun? So would I follow his example? Would I copy his example? Examples, an easy one. Um, this is like show, and it's also example. So you're just pointing the middle of the palm and just go, kind of did a couple times, shake it a little bit, example. Um, this would be show, like show everyone. Anyway, it's very similar. Okay, and then I say, would I live more righteously? So if you want to do live, you go like this. Two, two fists and thumbs up and live, right? Actually, thumbs really aren't up. Yeah, okay, I've seen it both ways. I've seen thumbs up and thumbs down. So whatever you wanna do, <laughs> but live, and actually I've seen L's as well. Some people really like to use those letters. Um, but I do fists. Live, and then if you wanna sign more, you can sign for more. That's usually the baby's first word. In sign language, more food now. More and then write. This would be choosing the right. Um, but if you want to go a little more fluent, and I still kept it really simple, I did me, improve, and straight. This is like the straight and narrow path. I, I said that you could do this for true as well. This would be a little bit more, this would make more sense for true than compared to this. But, um, you just go like this, you go like this, but it's at an angle because you're going up to, going up to the savior. So I really like that. I was like, me improve straight. Would I live more righteously? Would I, because the whole more, it's not like you have more of something. This is a very physical more, like give me more cereal, but I'm improving myself to be more righteous. That's kind of what, that's more along what you're saying. So I'll give you options there. Okay, so I go, would I live more righteously? And then that's a question. So you make sure you do your question after. Would I do that? If I could see. Now you don't have to point to yourself because the see implies that you're the one that's seeing. So that'd be redundant. So you don't have to do that. So if I could see the Savior standing nigh, and nigh means close to you, and so I do this sign again, and I just do watching over me. Now, make sure not to do this, because that's two people, and Jesus isn't two people, and so it's just one. Just letting you know that. I really do like this song because the chorus is pretty simple. It's if the Savior, we got four, just four simple um, signs for that like last line. So it's kind of good. Okay, second verse. If the Savior stood beside me, now this is what I say, the things I say, so I sign me, and then this is a comment. This is something that someone says. Um, it's also like story and message as well. <clears throat> uh, this is like talk, so you can do that as well. I use that later on, actually. So I use both of them. 
So I'll teach you both. Um, make sure that the thumb is not out because if the thumb is out, then you're throwing up and that's not very good. Um, and you can also use this for hate. Like you throw, you just throw it up because you hate it. So keep the thumb in. We don't want to throw up. It's just talk um, or speak. Um, but because we're talking about the things that we say, I'm like, well, these are the things that we say right here. These are the comments that come out of our mouth. It's like this. They don't touch. They're kind of like, I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. It's like magic. It's a fun sign. It's your comment or message. So if the Savior stood beside me, would I say change question? That's what I do. <laughs> I do change again in question. So it's very similar to, I just change, instead of saying do, I do. I just um, say, like a comment. So the things I'm saying, would I change them? Would I do that? Um, but you're welcome to do that as well if you want to do that. Say the things I say. You can do those little vocab words as well. Okay, would my words be true and kind? Because there are a lot of words on this sentence, um, I actually didn't do true. But this would be a good one if you wanted to do true because it's like, it's actually, this is true like the truth. So I sign my, it's possessive, so the palm is on me. My words, the comments I'm saying, um, and then you can do true if you want. I don't put that in there just because there are so many signs. I just say my words kind. So you can do true if you want, kind. The other one just goes kindly over the, the hand. They're just so kind to each other and just kind and flat and nice. And then if he was a savior, we're never far away. If he, we're always close to me. And I just sign if you were close to me again. And then question. So if, yeah, so would my words be true and kind if he were never far away. There's that line. Um, next line. Would I try to share the gospel? Would I speak more reverently? Okay, would I try to share the gospel? Um, I sign his possessive. Palm is out. Um, gospel. Gospel is really easy. So you just have your non-dominant hand as a fist. And then you take a G and kind of tap it twice on it. Gospel. So his gospel, I try, I, already I taught you that, and share, there's two ways to do share. The, the, um, this is like share, like share your toys. But we're not sharing the gospel like we're sharing toys. We're sharing the gospel, we're like informing people. And so I go like that. Because this is a sharing, like, I'm sharing what I know is true. And I'm sharing information, and I'm sharing words, and things that are important that are in my head and my heart, and I'm sharing them. So you just kind of like this, and then you go out. Out. And you can just do it once if you want, or twice. I think I do it twice in my movie. Um, I don't know why I like doing it twice, but I do. So, his gospel I try to share and then um, but you can do share if you think that this is easier especially if you don't want a bunch of like primary kids with hands up in the air in front of their faces I get it believe me I get it sometimes it's just it's easier so you got two hands like this and just imagine there's like some toys on here that you just want to share so you're gonna like share them with everyone that's how I teach it so share or share Whatever you want to do. Next line would, oh, and that's a question. So it's like, hmm, his gospel I try to share. Do I? Look, that's a question. His gospel I try to share. And then the next line, would I speak more reverently? This is where I go speak. Because this is the action to speak. It's not talking about words that I say or things that I say. So speak. Remember, don't put your thumb in. The reason I'm saying this is because I've done it. Okay. Speak 
more reverently, reverently. And so your hands are actually just like this and they kind of cross a little bit and go reverently, reverently. Um, I've seen it ours. People like to do that, um, but some people don't. <laughs> so I've seen it both ways. Just letting you know. If someone says, you need to do ours, say, it's okay, I don't have to, actually. And, um, and then continue. So it's like what I speak more reverently and continue to do that. So this is continue. Um, if you want to put that in there, it makes it more makes it more fluent ASL. Just letting you know. Just two thumbs, they don't touch, and you just go continue. And then question. So I go speak, reverent, continue question. So if you want to do speak and just reverent, then that would work as well. That'd be a good simplification for that. If the Savior and then the Sandy and I watching over me already taught you, third verse. We're going to get through this. He is always near me. This one, this one's precious. So he and then is near me. And it's like they're doing hugs, like he's hugging them kind of. It's close, right? So he is close to me. Not just standing next to me, but he's near me. And then the next word is, um, though I do not see him here, there. It's like he's close and I feel him always. So feel your middle finger brushed up. All your fingers are out. But the middle one is the one that brushes up against kind of just below your chin. And um, he is always near me. And always. So I sign he, close, feel, always. That makes more sense in fluent ASL. But you can do... You can do always when we sing always. That would make perfect sense, especially for young kids. So you could do he is always near me. You could do that. And then um, always is, you know, just finger, do a couple of circles. It's just like a circle always goes forever, right? It's just always and always and always. <laughs> That's an easy one to remember. And then though I do not see him there, and so I sign, I sign him and then see... No, not. This is not. And you would put the not after what you said. Um, in English, we put it before. Though I do not, you don't, you, you, you don't do what? So in English, you go, I do not see him there. But um, in sign language, you would say, I see him not. <laughs> That's what you would say. You'd say the not at the end. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to go more fluent. I'm totally up to you, no pressure. Not, just, this one's like that, and you just go, not. Kids like that one. I think it's just like two fingers fighting or something. Okay, next line, and because he loves me dearly. So I signed because, and so you have all your fingers together and thumbs kind of up, and then kind of wipe the, like your forehead a little bit, and then you bring it to a close right here. Because, um, I simplified this one quite a bit because I said because he, me dear. That's kind of what I said. Um, but you can do love if you want. Just two fists and crosses over your chest like that. Um, and then, this is dear, dearly. And this is a fun sign. It's like you have a beard or something. You're just like, dear. And you don't bring it down here, you just keep it up here. Dear. So, because he loves me dearly. You can do that. I am in his watchful care. I just go like this. Watch. There's, there's, a, there's a cool sign. So, it's like careful. Um, and it also, also means like caring. For example... The word for babysitter is caring person. And so that's like two K's or P's like this. Um, and then one goes on top of the other. And you just kind of do two circles. So I have seen um, this song signed a couple times like watching over me. 
and then careful or because you're talking about how you're in his watchful care so you can do watchful and then just kind of do that as well if you want to if you want to make that a little bit more difficult then you can do that I just kind of really simplified it and I just did in his watchful care because he's watching over me okay two more lines so I'll be the kind of person that I know I would like to be so you can go really word for word on this and do it kind of more signed English and people who are really fluent will go, Ugh, but it's okay because they're kids and they'll love it, <laughs> honestly, because you've got a three-year-old there sign doing real signs. It's adorable and everyone appreciates that little children signing, honestly. Um, but I'll teach you more fluent way and more word for word. So you can, be, you, you can choose what's best for your primary. Um, so more fluent, me want change same me vision. Don't worry, I will teach you all those. There's like a really cool way to say that in sign language, so I wanted to teach you that. Um, me, you know that, want. Want is mainly with your fingers. But want. Want, so I want to change same. So I want to be the same person as him, right? I'm gonna be the kind of person that, the same person that I envision. That's cool, huh? Like, that I want to be so bad that I'm like envisioning in my head. That's the kind of person I wanna be. So you envision it, you go like this, and then it like opens. Your head like opens and envisions the kind of person that you really wanna be. You're like, I want to change into the same person that I envision myself being, right? That I really want. So that those signs are just more fluent ASL anyway, and they're kind of fun. But if you want to do more word for word, I'll teach that as well. Um, so I'll be, be, I'll be, and don't do it too much because you'll then you'll sign cheese. But just do one. And then as soon as you tell the kids that, they'll all be like, oh, I know how to sign G's now. And they'll get all excited because that happens every time. But um, just one. And then peace is kind of similar. So that's peace. So you just want to go B, to be. It's like to be or to become. So I will be the kind of person. This is just a person. So I'll be person I know no remember this is like think or mind or something um, it can mean actually quite a few things this is no and then you can say I like to be I want to be you can do that as well I'll sign that again I'll sign that again for you I'll be the kind of person I know I'd like to be. You can do that as well. Um, go for it. Or you could do, I'll be the kind of person I know I want to be. So you can do that as well, which is a little bit more fluent, so you can decide what's best for your primary. And then the last line is, if... I could see, remember C is just like this, like two fingers up, and then your middle finger kind of touches your cheek and goes C. It doesn't have to touch, but that's the one that's closer. C, the Savior, I taught you that, standing nigh, and then watching over me. Thanks so much. I hope that was useful to you guys. Thanks for watching that video. Click here to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and here's a related video. Then this button over here, click it to find out more about primarycoursters.com. It's a Primary Courser membership website. Make sure to check it out, it's awesome. We're really excited about it.